Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Today we're going to the Ruhr's Institute of Technology and I guess we're gonna talk to everyone here before we go talk to that guy. I don't know who that is. I mean, I can bother you when the hell I want. I'm a guest here. What do you mean that doesn't apply? That was the courageous. Yeah, that's a pretty cool airship. Oh, we actually met Thompson, didn't we? Yeah, he was in the, like, the, the hangar, or the hold, or whatever the hell it's called. How about you? Anything? Ooh, combat links. Sounds way too complicated for you. All right. No, I'm just going to loiter here. All right, cool. How about you? Ratto. Right, that does sound familiar, actually. Because I'm pretty sure I, I laughed on the inside when I first heard of it. Ah, judging by those uniforms, you're all students, aren't you? They look kind of familiar, too. Uh, we're students from the Thor's Military Academy. Are you the Ratto who we were sent, to request, uh, sent in the request? Ah, so you're the students from Thor's. Of course, of course. No wonder your uniforms look so familiar. That's the academy George goes to. To be honest, I'm a bit uneasy about leaving this to you, but you look pretty strong, so hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> I figures George would have connections here. Still, going out on a limb and guess that if you're worrying about how well we'd clean up in a fight, must be a dangerous job. Kind of, yeah. Let me explain what I'd like you to do. You've heard of Professor Smith, right? That does sound familiar, I guess. Professor G. Smith, I believe, he was one of the uh, leading disciples of Professor Epstein, Epstein, of the father of the Orbital Revolution. Uh, he's a really famous scholar in his own right. He's followed in Epstein's footsteps, and his work helped popularize orbments. Indeed, he generally he's generally spoken of as something of a legend, le living legend. Professor Epstein also had two other famous students, Professor Russell and Professor Hamilton. The names tend to crop up together quite often in the orbital sciences. I know one of them. Yeah, I doubt there's a researcher out there who isn't familiar with all three of their whack. Huh, besides that, though, if I'm remembering right, Professor Smith also serves as the president of the Ruhr, uh, Ruhr Institute of Technology. Huh, you don't say. I wasn't aware of what he was doing these days. Yeah, he's continuing his research here at the Institute. He can be pretty difficult to deal with at the best of times, though. So he doesn't really go do public appearances these days. Gotta say, you seem pretty well informed. Is he an acquaintance of yours, Lisa? Not as much, but he's apparently an old friend of my grandfather's. It's, it's because of the orbital technology that the professor brought back to the Empire that the Rhineford Company grew so large. At least, that's what I've been told. So that's how the Empire's largest company hit the big time, huh? <laughs> so you're Chairman Arena's daughter, huh? Tech must run in the Rhineford blood. You must know, not know, but the professor's been involved in the development of the Arcus units and the orbital staves as well. Oh, seriously? I did have a feeling that might be the case. The tech used in the Arcus units seem more advanced than anything I've seen in the standard issue battle ornaments made by the Foundation. And it sounds like the only, like the only person who could make something like that would be the professor. Then sounds more like a wizard by the minute. <laughs> The reason I started with this little history lesson is because the request comes from Professor Smith himself. I work as one of his assistants, so I put the request on his behalf. Anyways, I feel like I'm taking talking your air off, so let's move on to explaining what it is I'd like you to do. Uh, by all means. Okay, then. I want you to enter the sense, uh, sac Saxon Mines and bring me back a small quantity of minor metal called Linium. What's a minor metal? It's a category of rare metals often used in technology, technological development, but I've never heard of Lilianum, Linium, 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 I don't know. Linium, 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 I'm not surprised. It's not especially well known, even for a minor metal. However, it's got some exciting potential applications in my new airship engine that's currently in development. That'd be quite the mechanical coup. Kinda sounds like it makes me think of the courageous. Oh, it's actually related to that as a chance would have it. In addition to the Ryanford Company, both the Foundation and the ZCF were involved in the development of the courageous. 
Our universities, uh, our university is participating too, but which has gained us access to all sorts of new technology as a result. Right now, we're working day and night to see if we can push what's possible with an airship engine. Okay, so now we know why you guys want the linium for. But why us? Well, extremely small quantities of linium can be extracted from one of the mine's tunnels. But a few years ago, dangerous monsters ta started taking up residence right in the very tunnel. In the end, it had to be sailed off before we could attain a large enough sample to run tests on. Huh, that story does sound familiar, now that I think about it. And if the ore doesn't have any proven applications, it won't be easy to get permission to access that tunnel. That's where we stand at the present! The professor were to petition the army, there is a possibility they go and secure the necessary sample. But I, like, like I said earlier, he's not the easiest man to deal with. He doesn't want to ask anyone for assistance, not even the army. Sounds like a royal pain in the ass. <laughs> Can't say I'm not concerned about these purported monsters in the mine, but if we can make a contribution to the advancement of science, we might even see Linium, uh, Linium pop up in textbooks someday. Yeah, I think we should help him out. I do know the mine chief, so we can explain why we want to head into the tunnel. I'm sure he'll let us in. Oh, really? That'd be a huge help. Still, it's an older tunnel. I doubt it's been retrofitted to the most modern safety standards. Make sure you're really careful when you go in there. Absolutely not. Of course, precaution is the best kind of caution. Nope, we're going in there blind. To get to the mine, we'll need to leave town through the eastern exit on the lower level and take the mountain path north. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so I think I tried to go in there earlier, right? And it's like, hey, you can't do that? And I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. But we're probably going to go in there. And it looks like we are. Where is the escalator? There is the escalator. So we want to go down the wrong way, and then we want to come over here, yeah? Yeah. Is anyone going to be down here? The answer is no. How oh, very rocky. It's so rocky it could be a boxer. Good joke, Kronos. Thank you. I spent a good 10 seconds thinking of it. Wow, this mountain path looks kind of dangerous. Well, at least it's maintained. Good grief. Nobody said anything about having to climb a mon mountain today. I'm already feeling bushed. There's a freight line that goes right up to the right up to the mine, right? Why can't we just use that? Oh, come on. We're students, not train hopping vagabonds. Just think of this as another part of our training. Ah, oh, jeez, lighten up, you guys. Looks like there's some wildlife on this path that might prove dangerous. So let's be careful as we go. Roger that. No. There is no caution in this team. Okay, I did stay at the inn a few times uh, to get my CP back. I thought you were a rock for a second. You are just a big ass spider who's about to die. Here's our chance. It is our chance, isn't it? I need okay. to boost Reen's speed up. Just so we can get Gale off faster. Good stuff. Then we'll go over here, Gale. Hmm. Only can get three. Okay. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What are you weak to? You're weak to water. I don't have any of that. I have a judgment bolt. I should look at that Zeus's thing again. I was told I should look at it again anyways. Huh. Good job, Fee. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Hostile obliterated into the ether, Fee. The thing doesn't exist anymore because of you. Both in the sense that it's dead, also it, it like Success. disappeared off this plane of existence. <laughs> I did it! Over there. Oh, I should look at the map, too. That's mine, thank you. Map! What do we got for treasures? We got... We got three on this path. We gotta take that path up and around. Sure, let's take a look at that Zeus's thing again. Zeus gem. Uh, Ragna Vortex. Is that like just a spell? Oh, 90% chance. Re 
Real, really? Jesus Christ. 90% chance? Ooh, that's not bad. Um, okay, sure, we'll put that on you. So is this an art? It, maybe, we'll uh, we'll see what it is in a second. It, it made it sound like it was a uh, passive that was on my attack. It's my normal attack. If it is, and it's 90% chance, that's sick. Oh, okay, apparently I messed that up hardcore. My turn. So if you come here, it is not a, a regular attack, it is a arts. Swallows enemies up with a lightning imbued whirlwind. We don't get to use that for a while. But I'll keep it on for now, seeing how it does give me a little bit extra attack compared to what I had on before it. So you're dead. Woo. Perfect. We need to give her more strength. I don't know how we're gonna do that though. She's already pretty like stacked in terms of oh my god, a praying mantis. Can I break these? Hmm. Hi. You a big boy. This one's all ours. Oh well, yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, let's see. Okay. What are you guys weak to? Water. Everything's water here. Apparently I should equip water. Here we go. I could use that flame impact too. Second four. I did use yeah. that off screen during a random encounter. It is pretty sick. My turn. Guys, Gale is kind of broken, I think. It's my turn. I could be wrong about yeah. that, but. I'll handle it. Elisa. <laughs> Leave it to me. me. Here we go. Okay, that thing just okay. has a strong defense then. Alright. Woo, level ups. There's constant level ups. I like it. Nicely done. Yeah, more of that. Thanks. <laughs> I did it! Surprised we haven't leveled up uh, Fee's Link yet. Feel like we're extremely close to doing it. That looks like a tough one. That Be looks careful. like a dragon. Watch okay, I guess we're just gonna do. Oh my god, the owls! Okay, so we can just only get three of them. Second four. Sure. We are gonna hit okay. them with crows, I think. That sounds fair. I'll handle it. Perfect. That should kill them all. You're done. You're done. I don't think we needed to do this, but I'm going to just to, uh, well, to save my hide, really. Cross Raven. I should really call it Hell Zone Grenade. <laughs> See ya. Oh, Hell Zone Bullet or Hell Zone Raven. <laughs> Handsome and strong. I'm the total package. Fair enough. I think that's the first time I've ever heard you say that. It might be the first time I've actually ever had you finish a battle. No, that's not right. right. Maybe I have heard you say that before. Wow, you can see all of Ruwer spread out from here. Oh, yeah. You can, though the view isn't as nice as it'd be from the front. Bachika wow wow. Now that's what I call a chest. I'd like to open it, thank you. Petrify. Well, we could get stone, but I don't think we need to. Now we're back to that little split. More of you guys up here. And there is a chest to- Ah! You were way closer than I thought you were! Yeah, those guys popped out of nowhere. I mean, they were right in front of us. But... I don't know, they look further away when I, uh... I wasn't really looking at them. Grab that! Thank you. These rocks look like I can break them. Uh... Thanks? I can't- I don't know what that first word says. 
uh, the Slurry, Sl Solar Arian, I think is the other one. Just a normal chest, okay. What is that? What is this? There. Annihilates all with a beam of magical en energy. Okay. Sweet. Is that just a basic attack? Not a basic attack, but like, it's a... Uh... Thank you. God damn it. No, it's just one. Yeah, is it just one of those like, attacks? It doesn't have any special effects, it just attacks everyone. When they say annihilate, I for some reason reason is th are, I'm thinking like it's an insta death spell. But I could just be wrong there. Who level oh, it's Reed and Fee. Woo! Rush two, electric boogaloo. Uh, I guess I should probably switch over links then if I wanna. I mean uh, nah, I think I'd just rather stick the fee. We have better linkage there. Another owl man. Any more treasure chests? No, just boxes. I mean, you really can't even say that's an owl man. It's just an owl. I'll get to you in a second. Okay, one more box. Nothing in it, of course. One, two, three, four chests. Okay. Any water around here? There is. Am I going to be able to fish? I don't think so. Oh, a train track. Choo choo. That's the freight line that runs into the mine. Dope, okay. Is that, that's all you want to talk about, huh? It's another red chest. I'm surprised the lack of the battle chest so far. Oh, a treasure chest. Black Bell. Uh, we've had a couple of bell ones. Do, don't those just like make it so that uh, that element of uh, spell goes faster? Yeah, halves delay. Okay, not goes faster, but... Has delay. Hi, I'm here to kill you. All right, let's head up the road, or back to the road, I should say, and then up the road. I don't know why these rocks look like they should be breakable, but I don't think I have anyone that has bashing, like in my group, right? At an A, a rank. Uh, B. Was it A or B? We can easily test this. Come over here and be like, Reen. No, that's not the one. I wanted this. It's like, think. Yeah, you do not. Eat that. To be fair, I don't even know if this counts. Eat I think that. it would. Judging by what the icons tell me, but then again, I could just be reading them wrong. But if Milliam or, you know, Lara were here, we would definitely just break those down then. Probably not, but I think we would. Oh, I'm gonna need a rest before we even get there. And I'm gonna need to fish. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't expecting this path to be so steep. It's a mountain, it's a mountain! Man, you city slickers need to toughen up. Left, right, left, right! I mean, Crow's right. We are soldiers. This is also a mountain. All right, so we're not soldiers, we're military students, but still, this shouldn't be yeah, that bad. That. Thanks. It's not like we're rock climbing. Co great chaos trigger, if I a bullet of pure insanity and unbalanced. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be one thing if we weren't on a road. It's not that bad. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. It is nice. Nope. Okay. Watch out. I mean, that's fine. Oh! What? Yeah. Question. Yeah. Here we go. Has that always been a thing and I've just never noticed it before? Oh, I'm not linked. Of course I'm not linked. Pro, we're linked. 
So if we get a surprise attack, I must have had this happen before. And I was probably just as dumbstruck, right? Gotcha. Where the party party changes because you were a uh, surprise encounter? I guess, maybe. Do, do I have to put everything back the way it was? No. I'm still linked. Still linked. Alright, great. Speed breaker. Um, we've had that before, didn't we? Yeah, I have it on you. Uh, I don't know who else to put it on. So I'm not. <laughs> so I'm not going to put it on anyone. There's got to be a fishing spot up here. There's water. Don't you lie to me. There is a fishing spot. I know there is. It's right there. How do I get there? This looks like a nice spot. Oh, I can just do it from here. That makes sense. Huh. Kind of thought I was going to have to go down there. Something new? Something blue. That seems special. Not going to lie. It has a nice gold rim around it. What Invisible you crayfish. You gave me a hundred points. It seems a bit much game. We're missing one fish. Okay, nothing new after the first one. Um. Hmm, I'm wondering... If I missed... I know I missed one place in Keldic way back in the day. And I'm hoping that didn't screw me out of getting all the fish. I think someone mentioned that the fish that you miss can show up in the school like garden pond. That looks like a tough one. Be careful. So maybe I could use all my ground bait there and just kind of hope that I get lucky. I'm assuming like if that's the case then This is a pretty nice view. It is. Oh, actually I didn't even know about this place. It's nice. I like it. We should camp here. But, yeah, I'm assuming if the, the pond fills up like all the stuff that you've caught, then trying to find one specific fish that you haven't fished up yet is probably going to be hell. I'm willing to give it a shot. There's also a chance that I just haven't found the, like there's another fishing spot coming um, in the future that I just haven't gotten yet. Oh, chest. But seeing how I did miss one place back in the day, that has me a little bit worried. Um. Yeah. You kill most of them that way. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. No, no, no. Shoot? No, well, you, not shoot, but... Well, I mean, you do shoot. Yeah, do that. Kill them. And then we'll do it with the other one. That was the armrest of my new chair that I lowered so I could play in comfort with my controller. And record. This chair is awesome. It took me like two hours to set up. I mean, okay, it probably took me like actually like an hour and 20-ish minutes. Leave it to me. Uh, because I, I did take a break halfway through. My turn. Uh, and had lunch. But it is... Like, ten okay. times more comfortable than like the seat I had. Okay. And I'm including, like, the sofa seat that I still have over here um, to the side of me. Guess we're safe. But, like, the, the office chair that I had, had, uh, <laughs> it had worn out its welcome, like, a year ago. But Success. I still kept it because, one, I'm cheap, and two, it wasn't broken or anything like that, so I just didn't upgrade. But this was a gift. Yay, Christmas. <laughs> and it is awesome. It has like a leg rest too. It's nice. Uh, Brahma gem. Brahma gem. Are we in Fallout? Jesus Christ. 80 attack. And it's a spell too. Um, yeah? Yeah! Yeah! 
Absolutely. Are you insane? Yeah. That's a really good item. <laughs> Alright, next to the, the outside. Oh, we actually haven't made it to the mine yet! Right! Whoa. Unbelievable. Oh, there's people here. Why did I think this place was abandoned? They never said it was abandoned, I just put that in my head. <laughs> Surprised, I take it. Well, when they mentioned monsters, I, I kind of thought they just abandoned it for now. I don't know why. Welcome to the Saxon, uh, Saxon mi Iron mi Mine, birthplace of the steel that built the Empire. It's huge. I had no idea something this large was sitting right on the other side of the mountain path. Even from where we're standing now, the structure looks like there's ten... Um, there's ten of... Arj... Oh, crap. How did they pronounce that? Arj Tall. The, cr the cranes and the ducks are so massive, it's like they're meant for giants. I guess this must be where the freight line we passed on the way here goes. It's a lot bigger than I expected. If this Is this my manager by the Marquise, too? The mine itself is actually owned by House Anor, which means it's officially under the control of the Imperial Army. They decide how much iron is mined, then the ore is processed by the Rhinefords Iron Works and shipped all over the Empire. I see. It's a smart move, in the sense that it prevents a, a, a cadre of nobles from holding a monopoly on the iron mine here. It sounds like this place has a history of complicated politics all of its own. Well, how about it? Should we head down and see if we can go inside? Yeah, we need to talk to the mine chief about the researcher's request. Yeah, I was wondering when we were going to do that, too. You should be able to see the entrance from there. Huh, what's that car? Hmm. It looks awfully familiar, yeah. Is that Rufus's car? I had to guess, it looks like the one of the RMP vehicles we saw in the capital. You're right, what the heck is the real right military police doing all the way out here? Doesn't look like you're staying on patrol, at least. Only way to find out for sure is to head inside. Huh. So it's not... Rufus's car. No, Rufus's car was like a green limousine thing, right? Even though it doesn't look like a limousine. Hi. I thought that was a terrorist for something, for some reason. Yeah, I know. That's why we're here. Nice music. It's fitting for this place. It's not like a catchy beat, but it, it's just a fitting theme. They might have used it somewhere else before, too. I mean, she she's the daughter of, like, the head of that whole town over there, man. Of course she's gonna... Okay, the Reinford Company's not, like, the head of the town, obviously, but it's a company that pretty much oversees everything in the town, right? When it comes to, like, stuff, orb mints and all that jazz. So she's gonna be kind of famous. All right, inside we go. Well, thank you for your cooperation. If you'll excuse us. Sure, take, uh, take care on your way out. Are these the two guys that was were, that were clear? I think so. Looks like the railway military police really were here. Or are here. But why would they come out to the mine? Hmm, who are you kids? What are you doing here? It's great to see you too, uh, you again, uh, Rudolph. Well then, if it isn't a little Elisa, it's been ages since I last saw you around here. What brings you? Oh, it looks like you brought some friends this time too. Actually, we're we're not friends. We're classmates. Come on, dog. Now we're friends with her. Come on. So uh, you're the group from the military academy. I heard you were scheduled to come, but I guess the date slipped my mind. <laughs> Sorry, the drop in unannounced. Oh, no trouble at all. The doors of the Saxon are always open for little Elisa. Though I suppose you're not so little anymore. You've really grown up since the last I saw you. Ha, huh, is that young fellow with the black hair your sweetheart? Of course not, we're just classmates. Uh, yeah, what she said. Reen, is there something you've been keeping from us? I admit, I wasn't expecting you to know the foreman. Well, Grandfather brought me here quite a few times when I was young. And the chief has was always really nice. You got friends in such high, in some high, you got some friends in high places. 
Well, Gwen was always good to us miners. For the chairman of such a huge company, he was always so easy to get along with. I could talk with him like a friend. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, come to think of it, you all go to Thor's, so you must know Angelica Rogner, right? How is she doing? Huh, so you know Angelica too. That I do. She used to work here as a part-timer, after all. Say what? A daughter of the... Oh, a daughter of one of the four grace houses working in a mine? Yeah, she's the Marcus's Ragnar's daughter. Can't say I know much about her family situation, but she never mentioned it back when she started here. And she picked up the work in no time. That's not surprising, no, <laughs> Angelica. Uh, did she mention... She said she had a part-time job in Brewer, right? I don't think she mentioned it was the mine, though. Put in a uh, harder day's work than most of our regular miners, too. You don't see too many gals out there like her. I can hardly believe it, and yet somehow I can. <laughs> well, it sounds just like her. There's nothing normal about Angelica. Every time I get my eye, every time I get my eye on a girl, she swoops in and has them head over heels for her before I can ever get a chance. She sounds like less a noble. She sounds less like a noble by the minute. Hey, Fee. You watch it, all right? She seems to have a thing for you and Toa. Oh no, is it is it Fee and Elfie? No, it was in Heimdall. I think it was Fee and Toa that she was messing. It could have been Milliam too, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> well, it takes all sorts, doesn't it? Gotta say, I kind of miss those days, though. Reinford's current chairman, she's a shop lady and quite a looker too, but she's none too friendly. Never shows a face around here, and considering how much of a workaholic she is, I don't imagine she ever will. Dots! I uh, beg your pardon, didn't mean to speak badly about your mother, Elisa, but she is a bitch. Hold, hope you can forgive me. No, it's alright, really. I might be her daughter, but I probably know less about her these days than the company board. Elisa? Oh, by the way, what were the military police doing here? Oh, those guys? They've been dropping by quite a bit asking, uh, lately asking some questions about our operation. Today, they were badgering me uh, for some sort of statistic about how much ore we've been mining. That seems like an odd question, even for the MV RMP. Why would they need for- why would they have a need for information like that? I don't know, it sounds more than a little fishy. Yeah, I don't even- I'm not even sure what it was, uh, what it was they were trying to figure out. Anyways, I'm guessing that's not the reason you trekked all the way out here. Oh, right. Oops, I can't believe we almost let it slip our mind. Actually, there's something we were hoping you could help us with. Hmm, so that's your business, is it? I do recall a metal like that being found in these old mines, or tunnels, but we've sealed the shaft quite a while back because of a dangerous monster decided to make, its place, uh, make the place its haunt. Sounds like you already know that much, though. You really certainly want to head in there. Yeah, that's the plan, anyways. We no wouldn't normally ask to do this, but it's part of our field study. Monsters are in field studies are one of our specialties. Huh. Alright then. Oh, you all look like you can handle yourselves in a tussle, I'll admit. I suppose you'll be able to hold your own against whatever's in there. Dude, we have killed thousands. Don't worry about it. This will open the door to the mine shaft. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, don't mention it. If you keep on this way and head east of the junction, you'll see the entrance to the sealed mine shaft. But it bears repeating, be careful in there. No one's been inside for years now. We will. All right, let's mosey. No one's been in there for years, so we're gonna die. No, um, do you have an inn around here or anything like that? Hmm. Probably not, to be quite honest. All right, so you're just yelling at him. I mean, that's relatable, really. Are you an inn? No. I kind of wanted to fill up my CP. And also, like, recover Crow's health. Ah, I could probably just use a spell or an item when we get inside. There might be one of those orbital stations, too. Alright, well, we're going to call it here, and we'll go into the mine next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. If you're into watching me live streaming, twitch.tv slash Kronos, please give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.